Hi, and welcome to the Data Pitman channel. Today, we are going to talk about some things that you can do with Voss Viewer that will help you understand how is the production of your sample in terms of, uh, let's say, the number of articles that certain authors have produced, or the number of articles per country, or any other kind of information that is available after the Voss Viewer software has treated your source file. Okay, so let's go. Uh, first of all, we have to create a map based on bibliographic data. In this case, I'm going to use a Scopus file. You can use a Web of Science file, uh, Dimensions, a Lens, a PubMed, uh, other sources, doesn't matter. And here I'm going to use a sample that I already have in Scopus and ask for co-authorship and authors. You can perform this with authors, with organizations, although it's not recommended for Scopus, um, countries if you want, and well, any other kind of study that you have here, you can always export the results with the quantities of each one of the nodes, okay? Uh, in this case, as we're trying to see what, what are the authors that produce the most on our sample, we will keep on full counting, that's important, and we are going to remove the ignore documents with a large number of authors, because this is used if you have, uh, if you want to get rid of uh, poly authorship with very large number of authors in certain, in certain articles, and that's not our case. So we are going to remove this. Then we are going to lower the threshold in order to have all the authors. And we are going to ask that all the authors should be listed here, okay? Because we're just going to take the first results that are obtained by VosViewer. We are not going to plot the network now, okay? If you are going to plot a network, you, we must limit the amount of nodes, otherwise the network will be very confused and will be very difficult to analyze. But in this case, we are just looking for the production of the authors and we need at least all of them to make some adjustments further and you will see how. So here we go. Uh, we have now the amount of uh, documents that were produced by each one of these, these authors and also the citations. We can have the most cited authors based on the sum of all citations that they have in each one of their documents we can have the most productive authors in terms of documents. And there's also the total link strength that's the calculation needed for the network. So we are not going to take care of this now. A common error that you may found when you import in Scopus files to Faust Viewer is that Junior would be considered as a separate author. So you must remove Junior in this case. And this is very common to happen. Then, as we have here a list of the most productive authors here, you can see there are, there's a lot of authors, but maybe some of these authors would be the same, but they were considered different because of the way they were identified. Let's say the, the middle name was not used by certain author in certain publications, so it was, was not considered the same author. And maybe you will need to do a deduplication of this file. I already talked about the duplication, but in a more complex case, in in the case of co-citation analysis, any kind of analysis that you do in Vosphere, you should take care to do the duplication using the Thesaurus file. So in this case, you just click, right click here, ask to export selected authors. I just remove a junior because it's not a, sim, uh, a specific author. And then I'm going to save this as production. I had already saved it before, that's why he just commented here that it's the same and I'm just going to go back here because that doesn't matter I I will open up the file see and in this file I'll have the ID the author the number of documents the number of citations the total link strengths if I just select all and paste this to a spreadsheet any kind of spreadsheet I'm using Excel here sorry it's in Portuguese but it's okay and then I can order this based on documents from the bigger to the lower. And as you can see now, I have a list of, if I say 
let's say, ten, the 10 most uh, productive authors here. I can then take care of some cases like, uh, let's say, I'm, I'm curious if one of those authors maybe have some issues of naming that could put them together in another situation or in a better position. So let's say I'm now, um, I want to be sure that this, this alters have no issues of this. I'll just take um, a bigger amount here, like um, the ones with at least five publications, color this. And then again, do a classification, but now base it on the names, the alters. Okay, so I can just scroll down and take a look if the yellow ones are by some, some way not considered together. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll find other, other cases here, but they will not be significant in this case. So I can just leave them alone. Uh, Cizani no, Zacopé Oliveira no, Zacchini no, no problem. Wunder no, Wando, Wando no. I'll just do, do this just to find one case if that, uh, no. Here, I'm not sure if Veloso VG and Veloso V is the same. I must take care of this case because this will change significantly the position of this altar. I'll have to take a look of this in, more, my, in, my, in my sample. So, just a minute. Why are we doing this in Voss Viewer? Well, we could have take the result directly from Scopus and in Scopus you have the option to analyze results and then have a list of the most productive authors. Well, the difference is that in Voss Viewer you can then do a more, more thorough analysis and deduplicate cases that the database didn't find out correctly. And when you deduplicate this, it will be perfect. Okay, so back to the video. Also, there's this case here, Vasconcelos and Vasconcelos ZFM. But if I'm talking about the top uh, authors, this won't be significant. But several others are not, with no problem. I'm, I'm, I'm just, this may be the case. Also Teixeira MMG and Teixeira MM. But also if I put them together, it will be seven. That's not significant in this case. And so it goes. You should perform this uh, very careful look to see if there are the duplications that needed to be performed at least in a level that would be significant to define the top authors, okay? Uh, we normally try to define a certain cut because the number of authors is quite big and probably would be difficult for you to perform in all of them, but you should define a lower cut that will be significant for you to then try to analyze and see if you should join one or other author. We found one case up there that was the Veloso case maybe, or the Suarez, this is another important case, MBP and MB, maybe it's the same author, we don't, we're not sure, we should take a look on the publications. So, I think that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you could also leave in the comments where you're from, I would love to hear from you. And if you like the video, give a thumbs up, share with your friends, this will help the channel and it will result in more videos, okay? Cheers and see you next time.